Welcome back to the American Dream. And now a few words from our host, Mr. Stanley L. Whether you're raising a family, advancing a career, building a business or an ambition from God, victory lies beyond the barriers. We have been given the power of choice. And with that comes the choice of believing what you will. Since believing is acceptance of a thing, it is important to note that whatever you accept or believe can become reality. It is with this thought that I choose as carefully as possible what I wish to experience in my world. There are principles of logic in accepting a belief as reality. One principle is that whatever you believe may affect you and those around you. Another principle is that believing in something that lowers your standards of living may be destructive to your character and lifestyle. Thirdly, if you choose to believe that the highest ideals of life are attainable and pursue them, you must eventually reach greater heights. Being able to choose whatever we want to believe in, I seek to go to the highest possible point. I choose to believe in whatever gives me the greatest benefits, even to the point of what some call impossible. Of course, mankind has proven many things, many times, that nothing is impossible. With that in mind, I choose to believe that all mankind are children of the one most high living God. And this is a matter of choice. Given free will, it is my choice to believe the best possible conditions for all people on the planet. That is all children, or all our children, of God, with the same abilities and powers of God, only used to a lesser degree. I choose to believe that being a child of God with free will, we can command every possible assistance in reaching the fullness of who we truly are. We are light. We are life. We are love, all of which are attributes of God. Believing in what many people would call extremes, I find comfort, courage, security, and strength ever increasing within me. My experiences have taught me that as long as I accept my God authority, I am bound to attain it fully. Life has never failed to give anyone whatever they sought, but they persist until it is attained. Therefore, as God's love is supreme, my love may be supreme. And so may yours. And this is the ideal of life. As God is eternally free, so may we be free. As we gaze into the night sky, we may see thousands of stars, each holding itself in perfect peace and harmony with the rest of the universe. That universe is ever expanding in perfect balance, regardless of the activities of mankind on this earth. I am the strength that carries the power to move forward steadily through all experiences, whatever they may be, and remain in joy and uplifted, filled with peace and harmony at all times, by the glorious presence which I am. The American Dream. Reality. On Rowan Radio. 89.7 WGLS-FM. With host, Stanley L. United States of America has a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed, a democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity, for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies, everywhere, forever. The 28th principle of the Constitution states, the United States has a manifest destiny 
to be an example and a blessing to the entire human race. And that concludes our American Dream for today. And I'd like to give some thanks before I have beloved Robert here come on and give us a wrap-up poem. How's that sound? Sounds wonderful. Thank All you right. so much. Well, first I'm going to thank, of course, again, my engineer. <laughs> What's it all about? Huh? <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Girl Scouts of the South, Jersey Pines, Boy Scouts of America, and the Learning for Life, the National Society of American Business Owners, and finally, my love and gratitude, the source of all life everywhere, at Rowan Radio, 89.7 WGLS FM. I am Stanley Elf for the American Dream. God bless you, and have a victorious week. And now, Robert Hawthorne. Thank you, Stanley. Uh, my closing poem will be... Again, words of Jesus in the opening. The God, the God which I know manifests through each of us. This is simply entitled, I am the one. I am above me, looking down. Sweetly saying, please don't frown. I am with you in all ways. Call to me, give me the praise. I am speaking clearly to you. Please now let my love come through. I won't forsake you through the years. I am the silencing of your fears. Look back, see all I have done. I am your every victory won. Look ahead, look up to me. I am the one to set you free. Thank you. We need you now America The beautiful Don't you let us down Make sure that freedom rings Don't let it be just a dream 